Hey everyone, welcome back y'all. We are back with our expenses for the month and I should be doing this every month and I've kind of dropped the ball. I get paid once a month and with that being said, all but one bill comes out on the third of the month and that bill is my Verizon phone bill because I have others on my Verizon bill that are outside my house that they get paid at different times than what I do. Um, so with that being said, I may see about updating that here shortly because I basically pay the bill and then I get reimbursed by my eldest daughter, her boyfriend, my mom, and my dad because they're all on my Verizon bill. I'm going to be making some changes to that here. So I'll speak about that here shortly when we get over to our debt update as well. And I want to continue doing this because I kind of dropped the ball and I was no longer filming these videos and I really want to get back to filming these videos as well, not just all my cash stuffing. So as I said, I do get paid once a month, so I have to allocate money and spread it over whether it's a four week month or a five week month. The approach that I use is this binder system that I print out once a year. It is from the organized money over on Etsy. She is also the organized money here on YouTube. Her name is Elena. And I bought this a while back, and when I bought this, I paid, I want to say I paid $20 for it, but it actually is showing only $9, unless she's dropped it drastically, which is possible. Um, and I've seen that for a while, that it's been dropped down to $9. Um, this is a great system. It's got all the paperwork in here, and I've showed you this in the past. So I printed this out for October of this year, all the way through the end of next year so I don't have to go back and be looking for planners and things of that sort each time. So with that being said, let's go over our bills real quick. My base pay this month was $4,378. My rent is $750. My electric is $350. My gas bill was only $70. Now, as I told you, I am on a Oh, how do I put this? Ah, oh, budget billing that I don't like. I mentioned that earlier in a video today. And even though I'm paying the flat rate fee, whatever the overage is that I don't have to pay because I'm paying a flat rate fee is building up drastically. And I don't like that. So budget billing will be leaving at the end of its term and I will not be renewing that with either my electric or my gas. So I'm currently paying $350 on my electric. My gas bill was $70, but I decided to pay an extra $28 more. I'm working towards trying to get that work down as quickly as possible. That is the lower of the two budget billing cycles um, for gas and electric and things of that sort. So with that being said, I did pay an overage of $28 this month to my gas bill. Then you're gonna go ahead and we're gonna go down and we're gonna look at Xfinity. Xfinity includes my internet it includes my cable box it includes my daughter Danya's cable box because she has one in her room and it also includes our security that is two hundred and twenty five dollars per month I know sounds like a lot it's a lot less than that usually but we have been ordering some movies and I did just get my first ever coupon from Xfinity uh, for, for five dollars and ninety nine cents for another rental now we just bought interview with God. We haven't watched it yet, but I'm really excited to be watching that movie here shortly this weekend. But we did rent some movies. So with that being said, and with the addition of Danya getting her cable box just a month or so ago, that was an additional that's an additional seven dollars a month. But that way we don't have her trying to watch the living TV and us trying to watch cable at the same time. It wasn't working out well. Now that she's got cable in her room, she's super duper happy. Um, also with Xfinity Starting in December, they're giving us Peacock for free. It's a streaming app, and they also give us HBO Max for free and Showtime for free as well with the bundle that we have. We are grandfathered in, um, so we get really good rates on certain things. Now let's speak about Verizon, and I'm gonna speak more about that when we get over. My Verizon bill, you can see, is $340, y'all. My pay for it is only 200. 
My mom pays 70 for her and her husband. My daughter, Tori, pays 70 for her and her boyfriend. Now, their phones are still underneath a quote-unquote contract, which means when I opened up their line of service, they got their phone for free. And each month, Verizon's ticking down, ticking down, ticking down the amounts off those phones. They get a credit, so they're not actually paying for the phone, but that's how they keep you in a longer-term contract situation with Verizon. If you want to get out of Verizon and import your number to another carrier, you have to pay off whatever the balance is on that phone. So I'm going to go over my debt here shortly. I'm going to show you how much we got left on our phones. But I can tell you my mom, my dad, my daughter, and her boyfriend all are in like a $500 range still paying their phones off. I'm not requiring them to pay off their phones. I will be switching from Verizon to Xfinity, and I'll explain that when we get to our debt update. And I'll explain what we're going to do. Our grocery bill did not come in at 96 like I had hoped. It came in at 106. No. Was it 96? Yes. Okay. It was 96. This is throwing me off. It's not 106. I miswrote that down. It's $103 for the month of October. This is for the all five weeks. You all know we are on a prepper pantry challenge, y'all. We've been eating out freezers. We've been eating out of our pantry. Our pantry shelves downstairs, our prepper pantry shelves, our pantry shelves upstairs, our cabinets, all the things. Y'all, we may be able to stretch this out to December doing a pantry challenge like this. We are buying perishables that we need to when we need to, but I put a clamp down on us this month, and I put a pretty hard one on us. Um, but we're all doing just fine. You've seen some of our meals that we're making in the full bit. I've gotten really big into watching extreme grocery meals and learning how to make meals from items I already have in my house and it's stretching out this pantry challenge a little bit longer so that's always a positive um but the reason it wasn't 96 and it ended up being 103 y'all the price of butter I told you we had spreadable butter go out and we can't have that happen and when I saw the price of butter at the store the other day at Walmart I about died I did have to pull a few extra bucks out of a buffer in my bank account and that's fine because that butter was $7.98. I only pulled six thinking I could get it. It was a family-sized tub of country crock butter, y'all. It's not even the expensive good stuff. It's the cheap crap stuff. But my kids go through butter like water, and I can't afford the more expensive butter if that's the way they're going to go through it. So with that being said, that came in at 106 my credit builder, this is my self-credit builder. I have been on this program since April. I pay $150 a month. After the first three months of payments, they gave me the option to get a self-credit card, which means that amount periodically will start showing up on my credit card for, cre for uh, credit builder. So it's kind of like having a prepaid card, but it's also helping me to build my credit, which has jumped up 65 points. Y'all, this is how sad this is. I am just barely in the 600s. That's how bad my credit was. So I'm hoping that it continues to go up and up. Um, it has dropped a few points, but that's because I had some credit checks ran on my credit, and that brought it back down. Um, <laughs> it sucks, but it is what it is. Um, I have been on time 100% with my credit builder and absolutely love it. Um, they did raise my credit up to $900 on the card itself for the limit, which is awesome. I'm hoping to be at over 1000 by next month. That would be really super happy for me. And then we have my firm account, um, which I pay $150 to. I did pay off two of the firm accounts. Now, let me explain to you about the firm account. When I say I paid off two of the accounts, every time you shop on a firm, they open up like a new little subcategory account and I paid off two this month. I've got some left, as you can see. I've got that, you know, I'm still paying 150. I don't have to pay 150 next month, but I'm gonna continue to pay 150 so I can pay it down. The biggest portion on there is my son's Oculus headset. He's got an Oculus Quest 2, 256 gigabyte headset, and that's the majority of the amounts that I'm paying. It's not all of it, because I have had put some extra things on there as well. So, that is what we have. And let's go over our totals. So I told you, I get $4,378 this month. I will tell you, starting in January, I am going to get a $266 raise. That means my monthly income will be $4,644, which is really cool. Um, I will be putting that money to good use. So that is what we had. Now, if you take the $4,378 
and you minus it from my total of my bills. And my total of my bills is somewhere around here. Oops. Nope, that's my debt. Where did I put it? Mm, you guys can see it on their screen. I can't see it. I can't see it at all. Okay, so if you minus my total of bills here, which is $2,029 from the $4,378, that leaves me a total left over of $2,000. $349 for the month, y'all. Now remember, I put a ton of money into my one year ahead binder because my grocery budget was so low, it was ridiculously low. So take that $2,349 and, uh, $2, and you're going to minus over $600 off of that as well. But I'm just letting you know, this is what my bills came down to and how much I have left over on it. So that's why the grocery bill is not sitting at 800 because I only spent what I showed you there. But remember, I got sinking funds coming up um, throughout the month that I am working on and all this money is getting allocated to where it needs to go. There is some money that always stays left over in my buffer and I do roll that over. I do not go down to a zero base budget. I do not let my bank account go to a zero base <laughs> budget. It's just not gonna happen. That's not the way I do things. I've got buffers all over the place. So let's go ahead and get into our understanding of our debts. For my iPhone, y'all, and I am with Verizon, and this is what's going to happen. As soon as I'm done paying off my phone and my son's phone, um, as soon as my son's phone's paid off, I'm rolling him over to Xfinity. Once I roll him over to Xfinity, um, we are paying $37 a month for G5 start with Verizon, but Xfinity is going to allow me to have unlimited talk, text, and unlimited hotspot and unlimited data for $20 a month and not only that y'all I'm bringing his phone so I can import his number there he brings his phone and they're going to give me an extra hundred dollars for him bringing his phone and then his bill is going to be $20 a month so I'm going to save $17 per phone that I bring over to Xfinity and they're going to give me an extra $100 for each one I bring over that is the promotion that we're looking at now. Could it change? Yes. Is it likely? Not so much because I really want you to come over. And y'all, I already have Xfinity and I love them. So um, yeah, thank you very much. We will be doing that. So let's start with my phone. My phone's at $260. I made a $20 payment that comes out of my Verizon bill that you saw that was $200. And mine was an upgrade, so I did have to pay. Um, it's not a credit that I get, so my 260 now I owe 240 on my iPhone SE 64 gigabyte phone, and I hate the fact it's only 64 gigabyte. That's why I did get an iPad with a much bigger gigage. Now, when I switch over to Xfinity um, Mobile, what I will be doing is I will not import my number. Um, unless they can import it to the phone that I plan to get with them. I am going to be getting the iPhone 14, and hold on, y'all. I'm getting the one terabyte memory space. Massive, I know, but I need it. So my phone's got a little bit of ways to be paid off. I will most likely have that paid off by January. Well, I'll just go ahead and cut ties and get done with that. Now, I'm not going to cut ties with the entire company because my daughter, my daughter's boyfriend, and my parents are on that system as well still. But I can at least port my phone number and my son's phone number over. So I will not be bringing my phone to X Xfinity. I will leave that with my daughter, Jessica, um, to use here at the house because uh, she likes to play games and all that on there. But I will be getting the iPhone 14 one terabyte. And yes, I will be paying $40 a month for that phone, y'all, because that's an expensive that's an expensive phone. So, again, my son's phone is sitting at 89 They are refusing to honor their agreement that they were supposed to be paying the credits for the phone and not me. And they gave me the credit, and then they took it back. They denied it. So, I'm pretty pissed at Verizon right now. They know it, and I will be letting them know when I pay off my son's phone that, you know, they're going to lose a lot of our business. And not anything they can say is going to change things. So, um, his phone bill, or his phone, I should say, is still sitting at $89. I took the $20 for this month and I ended up having to pay it uh, because Verizon will not uphold their agreement. So now I only owe $69 on his phone. I will be paying that off next month and switching him straight over to Verizon. Or not Verizon, I'm sorry, Xfinity. When I do that, I'm going to take that $100 gift card that they give me and I'm going to apply that 
to my phone, which next month it's at 240. I'll be at 220 after next month's payment. I'll add his $100 card on there and I'll be down to only owing 120 on mine. So yes, I'm gonna flip his gift card of $100 from him importing his phone in his number over to Xfinity. I will get that $100 gift card and I'll apply it to what I have um, towards what I'm owing on my phone. So I can get my phone paid off a little faster. Then I have Danya, and Danya owes $632 for her phone um, beforehand. And, um, no, I'm sorry, $682. $682. I paid $20 on her phone. I'm only supposed to pay $12 a month, but I'm going to pay her phone off quickly as well. I'm going to do almost like an avalanche situation. None of these have percentages on it per se, so it's not a true avalanche approach to paying off this debt. But as soon as I pay off my phone and my son's phone, I'm gonna take the $20 that I pay on my phone every month, the $20 I'm paying on Philip's phone every month, and I'm gonna roll that $40 into the 20 that I pay off for Danya. So I will be paying her phone off at $60 per month until it's paid off. So now it's down to 662. She has the latest Samsung Galaxy FE 256 gigabyte phone. She loves it. I'll be rolling her over to Xfinity as well. Then we are down to my iPad. My iPad has $576 on it. I only pay $15 a month for that. So I'm okay with doing that right now and leaving that be for the meanwhile because I do have other people that are on my account. So that five, uh, 576 now has become 561. Then we have um, my a firm account. Now, before I, before I get started on that, let me explain this again. I'm going to leave my iPad as is and let them pay it down quietly and slowly. No APR is on there. Um, it is Wi-Fi capable only. So with that being said, um, I got to figure out if my parents are going to, once they pay, theirs gets paid down, I'm going to import them and I'm going to import my daughter and her boyfriend as well over to Xfinity with us, but that's gonna be a while. So I don't wanna interrupt their services because they have trusted me to be on my account and I'm not just gonna take my account away and leave them hanging, that's not what I do. So that is what we're doing for that, just so you know. And then my firm account was at $853. I made a $100, $150 payment. You saw that with my, um, my, my paycheck breakdown here. And I am down to owing 703. The interest rate is silly, crazy low. Um, and out of that 703, I believe my son's Oculus headset is still at $320, I think it is, that I owe left on him. So I still have, you know, some other things that I have to pay down on that, which is fine. So my overall debt before all the payments were made for October was 2460 I made a $225 payment. Um, for this debt and that brought it down to me owing two thousand two hundred and thirty five dollars currently so like I said once I drop off my phone my son's phone um, and pay down a little bit more by next month I will be underneath just right above or just underneath two thousand dollars in debt so that is what we have for you today it's super simple, super easy. Changes are coming with our phone plan. Now, I will say with Verizon, I do get the Disney bundle for free. That's Disney, Hulu, and ESPN, which is a positive plus because my grandson watches Disney Plus. We watch some things on Disney Plus. Um, I am a Hulu junkie, so I get that for free as well. And that is usually running, I think they're up to like $13, $14 a month on that, y'all. So... With that being said, I am going to keep my iPad going slowly but surely as we're working down everybody else's accounts as well. And in the future, if I had to pay for Disney and Hulu Plus, then, you know, so be it. But we will be getting off the Verizon plan. I'm very unhappy with the service I'm getting from them. I'm getting the runaround on why they think I should be paying for my son's line of service when I told them, no, I should not be. They've got it all wrong. Um, I'm going to visit the Verizon store here in my town in the next couple of weeks. And speak with them since I did buy it at the Verizon store. And Verizon said, well, you know, you bought it at the store and not through us. We don't have the same kind of promotions that our stores do. If it's authorized Verizon dealer, you should abide by what the authorized advisor, uh, dealership is actually doing. Because they're authorized with the Verizon products and that. And they set me up underneath you guys because, uh, hello, the store says Verizon on the outside. 
So I will be speaking with them to see what further more they can do. They did give me that credit of $200, but that took forever. They gave it to me, took it back, gave it to me, and then I called them and threatened to drop all my phones and the service. So I finally got that back. But they never gave me the $400 plus for my son's iPhone. So I will be taking that up with the store. I'm a little pissed off at them, and I think they know it. So that is what we have for you today, y'all. We are almost down to $2,000 in debt. And again, the iPad and my daughter's uh, phone is not very much. I'm looking at $35 a month that I spend just on bills for that after me and my son drop off. It'll be $35 for that. And then it is only 150 for my Affirm card. And I can drop that as low as I want, as fast as I want to. So the pay that I pay in debt is so, so super low that once my son's phone and my phone drop off, it's under $200 per month. So the faster it comes off, the better it will be. And then as soon as I can get everybody moved over to Xfinity from Verizon, that's what we plan to do. So super simple, super easy. And, you know, that's what we're doing. So I'm hoping that you guys got to see this page because I just realized I turned it to this page. <laughs> but anyways, if you have any comments, questions, concerns, any kind of suggestions, please let me know. I also want to let you know I did tell you that um, we are getting um, Peacock from Xfinity starting December 3rd. We will have that for free. Y'all, I seem to be getting a lot of my apps for free. Um, I also got HBO Max and Showtime for free through my Xfinity, so check with your providers, y'all. Check with your phone carriers. Check with your cable carriers, if you have cable, and find out if some of these streaming services that you may be paying for, you get the privilege to have it for free. My bank, which is Bank of America, gave me an offer to get Grubhub one-year membership for free. Now, the funny thing was, I did have to go in there when I activated it. I did have to pay $10 up front. I believe it was. It was $9.99. Um, and I'm thinking, hold on, that's not for free. But I think it was to verify that I was a Bank of account, Bank of America account user because I needed to use my debit card to do so. So I paid for it, and they literally gave me a whole year. So I paid for a month, and they basically gave me 12 months on top of that month I paid for. That way I'd had a whole full year. So now I got Grubhub Plus for free. I uh, Uber gave me a three-month free trial because I stopped using Uber Plus. And they gave me three months for free. And y'all, I really need that because Uber is how I travel and get around. And I get a discount by having Uber Plus. So they gave me three months for free. Apple TV gave me three months for free. And then afterwards, it'll be $5 for Apple Plus. After my six-month membership is up with Discovery Plus that I'm getting right now for six months for free through my Verizon, I will start paying $5 a month for my Discovery Plus. So as you can see, I got a lot of my apps literally for free. And if you're a Chase member right now and you go to Instacart, you may have the option to um, apply for a Chase card, I think it is, or put your Chase account in or whatever it is. And you can get one year membership to Instacart for free. So y'all be looking for some free things. Be asking all your companies that you pay money to currently right now, if they've got all these type of promotional things, if they've got anything that you may be paying for right now that you can get for free. So that's what we have for you today. I hope you guys enjoy your Saturday. Until next time, Without Limits Budgets is out.